Welcome to Argon Design. We're a general electronics design consultancy based in Cambridge, England. We work in all areas of electronics, FPGAs, board level design, embedded software, mobile and tablet applications. We specialise in two particular areas, networking and multimedia. A couple of years ago, we recognised that our skills in software and FPGA, together with our mathematical knowledge, placed us very well for working in financial trading. Today's environment in high frequency trading is extremely competitive. You have to be in co-location. You have the exchange, which exposes some fees, usually over UDP, and the border entry gateway for TCP. And then the trading setup is split into two bits. You have the execution engine, which deals with the critical path and has the FPGA, and you have the algorithm engine set distilled trading parameters to the execution engine, such as the spread, the types of uh, symbols to look at. These distilled parameters will instruct the uh, execution engine to look for specific triggers. An open approach has been to put the whole critical path in the FPGA. Um, the important blocks are you, you have a, uh, a MAC layer on both the feed and the order entry, which just connects the FPGA to the Ethernet. Um, you have a feed parser, you have the order books, you build some statistics based on them. Uh, you have a strategy that uh, determines which orders you want to place, and then order entry, TCP and MAC to communicate with the exchange. When we started two years ago, we had a system which performed with 170 nanoseconds of tick-to-trade latency. With over two years of R&D, we've been able to reduce this number to 35 nanoseconds. So now we've got the FPGA set up in transponder mode, so it reacts to packets coming in from the PC as fast as possible. Here on the scope you can see the trigger and response packets, and you can see that the response comes in up to about 47 nanoseconds after the trigger. The latency between the start of packet of the incoming packet and the start of packet of the response measured at the taps is 47 nanoseconds. If we remove the 12 nanoseconds of fiber, we get 35 nanoseconds, which equates to the time it takes for the FPGA to detect the packet and to issue a response. Now we're actually going to replace this FPGA with this 10 meter cable. And as you can see, the response now comes in after about 50 nanoseconds, which is actually slightly slower than the FPGA. Because light in fiber takes one nanosecond to travel 20 centimeters, this takes 50 nanoseconds. So the second setup with 10 meters of fiber is actually slower than the FPGA and 2.4 meters of fiber combined. So now we've seen that we can respond to packets very, very quickly. Now the reason why this is important in high frequency trading applications is that often for a system you will have some conditions that, that you want to respond to very quickly. For example, um, it might be an order of yours that has been traded or the market opening. Now there's a technique called preemption that just responds to every incoming packet as fast as possible and only decides later whether that packet should be validated or not. While the packet is coming in, we can perform logic and provide the output of that logic in the response towards the end of the packet. In an arbitrage strategy, you want to trade two equivalent contracts against each other. And one way of doing that is maintaining an order on the order book of one of these contracts, which is equivalent to some statistic that you compute on the order book of the other contract. Now, the interesting thing about the strategy is that you have one fast path, something that you want to ex execute very fast in certain events, that is when your order is executed. You want to react to that very quickly and that lends itself to the use of a preemption trigger which can actually trigger already when it sees a packet coming in. Argon's approach to high frequency trading has been rather ambitious. We put the full critical path in highly optimized FPGA logic 
and allow only a few nanoseconds shy of the theoretical minimum.